Cyberpunk 2077 and The Witcher 3, although years apart and set in entirely different universes, are going to be compared a lot in the coming months. The Witcher 3 was lauded by most as a masterpiece, whilst the legacy of Cyberpunk 2077 is still yet to be confirmed. I'm about 18 hours into the game so far, and personally, I'm absolutely loving it. I'm playing it on PC and have experienced a few bugs myself, although I know it's a different story on PS4 and Xbox One where there are many more bugs. And it's safe to say that I'm excited to make plenty of videos on the game in the future. Novigrad and Night City. One is a large medieval town, the other a futuristic American metropolis. It's hard to compare the two, but in this video, I'm going to attempt just that. Both Novigrad and Night City have dark atmospheres, that's evident, but Night City is the dark Amelia of the two. Not only is the music more sombre and brutal, in Night City your ears are assaulted with a depressing cacophony of adverts for private medical insurance only the rich can afford, news reports of police brutality, gunshots, screams, the offers of prostitutes, you name it, you'll hear it. It's possible to feel at ease when you're in Novigrad. The music's inviting, lively, but Night City on the whole feels much, much more brutal. Graphically and gameplay wise, it's unfair to compare the games as they're five years apart. They also go for different art styles, but it's undeniable that Night City is the more complex of the two cities. It has more NPCs, it has cars, vending machines, multi-story skyscrapers, the lot. And yet despite all of this, I still believe Novigrad holds its own. Novigrad feels like a genuine medieval city. The streets are bustling, the taverns are full, the docks are a swarm with sailors. And in many ways The Witcher 3's graphics actually look prettier. They might not necessarily be better, but the art style on a whole feels a lot more cinematic, there's more god rays, and the city looks a lot more picturesque, with brick walls, stone houses, and bright roofs. Although of course you do have the bits, which is the most deprived part of Novigrad, where wooden shacks are plenty. But even so, Night City is overwhelmingly more dark, for the most part, and this is deliberate. It wouldn't be right if Night City was as bright or as pretty as Novigrad. Night City is governed most of all by hedonism. Violence is rampant, murders are common, and the NCPD is the puppet of Arasaka and has very little power when it comes to bringing order. Night City is impressive on the whole. It fits perfectly with the very dark ethos that CD Projekt Red are going for, but it also disappoints in some ways. I've noticed that unlike in GTA, the traffic is less responsive. The cars are literally programmed to go from A to B, so if you shoot the air, the drivers won't jump out and run away. And equally, you won't be chased by the cops, the local police will be alerted if you commit a crime, but that's basically it. Car chases are restricted, it seems, to scripted missions. And of course, there are many infamous glitches, from T-posing NPCs to guns that are invisible in your hand. Anyway, I'll let you absorb the rest of the footage, there will be more videos from me to come on Cyberpunk 2077, and please let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. Can you imagine? Looks like we're up. That old lady there? That's Rogue. Best fixer in all of Night City.